Hey guys, so I feel like it's been forever since I've actually sat down and filmed for you guys. I've been vlogging a lot lately. So if you haven't caught up on my vlogs, the links will be down below and you can check that out. I just love vlogging. I like taking my camera everywhere I go and just kind of get little snippets of any cool things that I do. But today's video is something I really wanted to get out to you now that it is the fall season. It is time to wear dark lips. Now I mentioned this in all of my kind of like trends videos. You should always follow whatever style you find yourself most comfortable in. If you're a nude lip person, then always wear nude lips. Same thing with pinks, reds. Just do whatever you like. Although they do say that dark lips is what's trendy for fall, you don't have to follow that. But on the imposing side, you also can wear dark lips all year round. Now, although most people do wear dark lips in the fall, I do rock them any season. It just kind of depends on my mood. I dress and wear my makeup depending on how my mood is. So sometimes I'll feel a little more edgier. Sometimes I'll feel a little more colorful. So it just kind of depends on the day. Now, I do have five lipsticks that I want to show to you. And although the title says they're drugstore, I have one MAC lipstick in here that I just had to throw in because it's a beautiful color. And it's the color I'm wearing right now. So if you're interested, did, stay tuned because that'll be at the end of the video. The first color I'm going to start off with is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick and this is in Mauvey Night. I absolutely love the formula of these lipsticks. It's by far one of my favorite drugstore formulas ever. They're just so creamy and so pigmented and they glide on like a dream. So I just want to show you a swatch of this color because it is just so beautiful. As you can see how easy it is, it just literally feels like butter. You don't feel like it's drying, it's not crusty, it doesn't sink into your fine line. It kind of feels like it almost has a base in it as well because the lipstick just lasts forever. It doesn't crease, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't do anything. So I love this line and this color is perfect for the fall time. The next color is a little darker and it is by Wet n Wild. Not necessarily sure if it has a specific name, but I know these are $1.99 and the color is in Cherry Bomb. So this is what the color looks like, and I heard this is a dupe for Max Rebel. So if you don't want to go out and spend $14 on a lipstick, I would highly suggest you pick this up, because like I said, it's $2. So this one is not as creamy as the Revlon Super Lustrous line, but it is a beautiful color. I would say you definitely need a chapstick or some sort of lip base and a lip liner with this color because it is very dark. It will bleed a little bit and sometimes perfecting the dark lip is a little hard. So get a concealer brush and some powder and you can touch up any lines or any mistakes you might have made. I absolutely love this color. This is probably the darkest color that I own, and I just think it is beautiful for the fall time. I like doing this with a very neutral eye. The next lipstick is a Rimmel London Moisture Renew lipstick, and it is called Let's Get Naked. I've talked about this color so much lately because it's honestly become my favorite nude of all time. I believe these are about $5, so you can get them at Walmart, CVS, anything like that. And the color is just beautiful. It's a beautiful pinky nude. I find that pinky nudes look best on my skin tone. If your complexion's similar to mine, this color would look amazing on you. And I do think it would look nice on dark skin tones as well. They glide on so smooth and so creamy, just like the Revlon lipsticks. This is one of my favorite drugstore finds. For fall, winter, spring, summer of all time, I love this shade. I raved about the Revlon Lip Butters, so I just had to throw one in here. I literally have every color of the Revlon Lip Butters, and I just love every single one of them, except Creamsicle, which I've mentioned in a Products I Regret Buying video. That color just looked terrible on me. But these Revlon Lip Butters are amazing. It's a chapstick and a lipstick put together, so it's very moisturizing. It's very creamy. It does increase into your fine lines, which I find like the Maybelline Color Whispers do. Out of all of the kind of like lip tints, I love this one the best. And the color is just amazing for fall. This is in Berry Smoothie. So you're not going to be able to see on camera, but it does have a little bit of gold shimmer in it. Um, I would say it's very small, very finely milled, but it is present. So when you swatch it, you might be able to see the little gold shimmers come up. This is a fresh new berry smoothie, so it is going on very sheer, but after you have them for a while, the color does warm up, and the formula kind of doesn't necessarily melt, but like I said, it just warms up, and it creates kind of like a thicker base, whereas when you first start using them, it's very sheer, so I'm not really sure why that is. In the swatches, it looks very similar to the Rimmel London Let's Get Naked, but I promise you it's not. Um, I'll put the colors up together, and you can see that they're two totally different shades. 
Obviously the Berry Smoothie is a lot darker than the Let's Get Naked shade. I absolutely love this product. It's just very easy to grab and go and just put it on before school or if you go into the gym or you just want a nice flush of color. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips and that's why this had to be in my fall lipsticks video. Now the last color I want to mention is the lip color I'm wearing right now and this is the Max Epres Chic. I believe that's how I'm saying it. It is from the Epres Chic line. I mean it's just a beautiful deep red color almost like a burgundy wine color and it does have a little bit I would say of a gold sheen as well this color is just so beautiful and I love the cream sheen formulas the cream sheen formulas give like a very nicey glossy finish so it's not drying and again it's very moisturizing so that's what that swatch looks like again I'm just gonna go over the colors one more time so you if you didn't catch the names you'll write them down now this is Revlon's Mauve Night Wet n Wild's Cherry Bomb this is Rimmel London's Moisture Renew Let's Get Naked. This is Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter and Berry Smoothie. And this is the MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick and Epres Chic. Please let me know what your favorite lipsticks are for fall because I'm always on the hunt for new products. Although I have too much lipstick and I probably will never be able to finish all of them. I'm a makeup addict. It means the more the merrier. Until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye. Mwah.